Hello everybody, it's Paul Gosselin with Night Scenes Landscape Lighting Professionals. The other day somebody asked me a question on my blog about wire sizing for their landscape lighting. And the answer is a little bit more complicated than the question he asked. So in just a second we're going to take a look at this question a little bit more in depth and see if I can't give you a good answer. So stick around. Okay, so here's the question that I got on my blog. Um, I have four 7 watt lights that I want to hook up to my transformer. Can I use 16 2 or maybe should I just go ahead and go with 14 2 wire? And the answer isn't quite as easy as it might sound. So here's the problem. What size is the transformer? Okay, that's the question that I would have. Because if the transformer is say a 300 watt professional grade transformer, it's got a secondary protection of a 25 amp circuit breaker. Or it might have a fuse, a 20 amp, 25 amp fuse, one of the two, right? And so you're going to hook up 16 gauge or 14 gauge wire to it. Well, you can't do that. Okay, you can't do it according to the National Electrical Code. And it's just not smart. And here's why. Even though you've only got 28 watts on there, which is only 4 amps in 12 volts, right? Because Ohm's Law says you take your watts divided by your volts and that gives you your amps. Okay, so your amp load, four amps, oh well, piece of cake, 16 gauge wire, it's rated for 10 amps, right? Not a problem. Well, the problem is this, the secondary protection on that wire is 25 amps, and you're putting a 16 gauge wire on it. Well, if something goes wrong with that wiring, something goes wrong with one of those light fixtures, and the amp draw goes above the 10, and stays below the 25, the circuit breaker is not going to trip. That wire is going to get really, really hot. And the coating is going to melt off of it. And there is a significant danger of fire. Well, let me use the 14 2. Well, once again, if it's got a 25 amp circuit breaker on it, the wire 14 2 is only rated for 15 amps. You got 10 amps of play in there that can cause that wire to get very, very hot. I mean, red hot. I'm talking about fire starting hot, okay? So you don't want to do that. You always want to size your wire according to your secondary protection device, whether it be a circuit breaker or a fuse, okay? So if he's using a 100 watt transformer, well, that's got a maximum, the most that it's going to put out, take 12 volts into 100 watts. You've only got about 7 amps there, right? So, and the wire is rated for 10, 16 gauge wire. And so, yes, you could do that. You can run 16 gauge wire out of a 100 watt transformer. No problem. So, it depends on your secondary protection device. That's how you size your wire. If you do that, you won't have any problems, okay? So, size your wire according to the secondary protection, whether it be a circuit breaker or a fuse. And then if anything happens to the wiring on the way down the chain, uh, then you're protected, okay? Hopefully this video was helpful. If so, give me one of these down there, okay? And maybe even subscribe to our station. All right, just kind of hit the little subscribe button right over there somewhere or there, whatever side it's on. Uh, hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up, tell us what you like, do some comments maybe. Uh, if you got any other questions, ideas for videos, I'd like to do that for you. I'd like to answer your questions. So until next time, thanks for watching Night Scenes TV and have an illuminating day.